Hello, and welcome to Game Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utkoff of the United States Naval Academy. In this video, we'll find the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of Corneau duopoly with one-sided incomplete information. We'll find the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of the Corneau duopoly with one-sided incomplete information that we introduced in the previous video. Here's the normal form of the game, the firm's respective profit functions, and the definition of Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. There are a couple different approaches to finding Bayesian-Nash equilibria. Which approach we take depends on the structure of the action and type spaces. In this game, the type spaces are discrete and the action spaces are continuous, so we will directly maximize each firm's expected profit. Here are the expected profit maximization conditions from the previous video. Maximizing expected profit requires that we solve a separate profit maximization problem for each type which can be a bit algebraically tedious, so brace yourself and off we go. We'll tackle Firm 1's problem first. Firm 1 maximizes its expected profit given its beliefs about Firm 2's type. Firm 1 picks a single quantity, Q1 star. Half the time, Firm 1 competes against a Firm 2 with C2 equals 0, which produces Q2 of 0. Half the time, Firm 1 competes against a Firm 2 with C2 equals 20, which produces Q2 of 20. Let's distribute and collect like terms before we do any calculus. Now we're ready to differentiate and find Q1 star. Firm 1 treats both Q2 of 0 and Q2 of 20 as constants. Here is Firm 1's best response function. Firm 1, which does not know Firm 2's type at the time Firm 1 selects Q1, must pick a single action to respond to both of Firm 2's types. Firm 2 has two possible types and learns the value of C2 prior to selecting Q2. Firm 2 therefore solves two profit maximization problems, one for each type. Let's first solve the problem for C2 equals 0, differentiate with respect to Q2 of 0, and solve for Q2 star of 0. We'll use the product rule here. After some algebra, here's Firm 2's best response when C2 equals 0. Now, let's solve the problem for C2 equals 20. Differentiate with respect to Q2 of 20 and solve for Q2 star of 20. We'll use the product rule here, too. After some algebra, here's Firm 2's best response when C2 equals 20. Now, here are all of the best response functions together. The Bayesian-Nash equilibrium occurs where we simultaneously solve the three best response functions. We'll call these equations 1, 2, and 3. Clear denominators from equation 1 to obtain equation 4. Now substitute equations 2 and 3 into equation 4. Solve this equation for Q1 star. Now substitute equation 5 into equations 2 and 3. Solve for Q2 star of 0. Solve for Q2 star of 20. Equations 5, 6, and 7 form the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of this game. At the end of the game, Firm 1 observes the market price and its profit, and can go back and figure out whether Firm 2's cost was 0 or 20. Firm 1 will experience regret in the sense that if Firm 1 could replay Corneau duopoly knowing Firm 2's cost, Firm 1 could increase its profit by selecting a different quantity. This regret is an intrinsic part of Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, and is another way of expressing the idea that in Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, players mutually best respond in expectation only. Thanks so much for watching this video in which we found the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of Corneau duopoly with one-sided incomplete information. In the next video, we'll introduce a vaccination game with incomplete information and find its Bayesian-Nash equilibrium.